Here's another activity for comparing and contrasting the tenses, focusing here in this activity on the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. So, in the activity, students will start at the start and roll a die. Perhaps they could roll a five. They will read something you've been learning for a long time. The appropriate sentence may be, I've been learning English for a long time. The next student may go and roll a four. They read a beautiful place you've visited. Then, rather than the present perfect continuous, they would use the present perfect tense. I've visited Paris. You could encourage students to even ask follow-up questions, which would also include other tenses. What was so beautiful about Paris? Now, this activity will be particularly good for your more advanced students who are capable of using various tenses accurately. It's also good in the beginning of your course when students perhaps don't know each other very well and they're using this as a way to learn about their past experiences.